Hey, what's going on guys? Looking Gaming here, and today we're back with Disturbed. Now, last time I left off, which was a while back, because, you know, a couple things happened, you know, spring break, blah, 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 I went to Colorado. But anyway, this is besides the point. Last time I left off, I was in these caves, I'm pretty sure a giant spider ate me. So, let's go find out what happens. Let's go see what I can do. Now, I don't exactly remember what I have to do next. I know a giant spider ate me, so... I know that... Let me go left... So, I remember I grabbed the knife, and the knife wasn't big enough to fight the spider. So, maybe I can fight this thing with the knife. I don't know. Okay, I guess I don't have a knife. So, I guess I uh, didn't save last time I played. So, I'm going to go ahead and get back to the part that I left on. Alright, I'll be right back. So yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm back. And now I'm fighting this the thing. This thing, thing has me. Whatever the heck this thing is. And I remember I have the knife in my hand. So I cut that mother... I cut the mother... And then I take his vines with me and I just gut him out. And then I go to the right. And the light rests on a corpse that seems to have been here for quite some time. Near the corpse stands a lone flower. For some reason, you feel hope enter your heart as you gaze upon the flower. Surely this flower will ease the pain of the specter. You approach the flower and carefully pluck it from the ground. There's something special about this flower. Light continues to pierce through the darkness from an opening above. Surely this gives you some hope that all not all is lost. Saying that there's nothing else for you to do here, you turn around. So now that I have the flower, I remember the sword guy, the ghost sword guy, wanted a flower from me. Oh, that only grows in lightness or whatever. So and there was a light there with the flower. So now all I need to do is get the hell out of this cave. After I get the sword from that guy, I can possibly fight the fish, the dog, and maybe the spider. I can possibly do all those things. So, let's go ahead and uh, enter the door on the, the door behind me. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah. So, the spider's in that door. I can't do anything about him yet, so I'm going to go upstairs. I browse the books. Forgotten Power. Raj, you power stuff. I don't want to read these books. No one cares about reading books. What is, I'm stuck in gaming, not stuck in reading. Ha <laughs> ha! Rituals of blah 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 blah. Okay, I'm just gonna skip through all that. Okay, uh, leave. Move forward. A strange room with the large globe centered. You notice there's a chest resting against the wall to the right. You also notice there's another passageway like the previous room. I need to get out of this castle, so I don't want to continue forward. Open the chest. Pressing the chest, you notice there's a lock fastened to it. With no key to unlock the chest, you decide to leave it alone. I'm gonna go downstairs because I don't I don't want to go too far ahead without knowing that. Oh, I can go outside from here. Okay. Hold up. Let me go back into the tower. Oh, I can't I can't do that yet. Okay. So I'm gonna go back where this path split. Go left. You follow the trail on the grass. I can inspect the grave now. I can give this guy his flower. So I extend it to him. You feel a subtle breeze below as the figure fades away with the flower. A faint whisper dances about the air. I am free at last. You feel a sense of relief within you and you reach for the sword. Yes! Ha! I shall continue on now and continue along. No, I'll inspect the lake so maybe I can fight this fish. I'm going to do a quick save right here because I don't know if this fish will still kill me even with the sword. I'm going to dive in. You open your eyes, see the stone sitting before you start to make your way toward it. The large fish comes to view, quickly notice you with his mouth stretched open. You grab your sword and hold it close, point at the fish. The fish, swim, the fish swims at you with haste. Just as it gets in range, you throws the sword into the top of the mouth. The, start, the sword penetrates and goes, yeah! Penetrate that mother... Penetrate that mother... Yeah! Okay. <laughs> you pull the sword out and the fish retreats out of sight. You doubt it will live long. But the fish no longer a threat and you make your way to the orb. Yeah, okay. Holding it in your hands, you feel it vibrate as if there's energy inside it trying to break loose. This must be important. Hell yeah, it's important. Frickin' fish was guarding it for some odd frickin' reason. Alright, I'm gonna continue along the trail. I'm gonna explore the field. The unicorn's still here. I can't do anything about that. I don't know what, I don't know what to do there. Now I can put the orb there. Yeah. And everything lights up. Light radiates and grows brighter. With the flash of light, your surroundings change. 
The ground is no longer grass. The newly discovered floor appears to be very old, as if crafted by somebody long ago. Rubble and stone near the edges of the platform also hints that this is an ancient place. I'm going to go ahead and quick save here, just in case anything happens. Looking on at the end of the pathway, there is a fountain of light. There seems to be no beginning or end. An endless power steadily flowing. You're amazed at such a sight. I want to approach that thing. The light intrigues you, and you walk toward it. Rays of light brush about you as if they were seeking to break away from its home. You feel the energy flow into you, but you struggle to contain it. Your body begins to glow immensely, and you burn from the inside out. Oh. You are blinded by the form of flow of power, and you dissolve before it. Your body becomes disintegrated by the light. Your adventure, for unfortunately, ends here. Wow. Well, I'm not going to approach the light anymore. Screw that. Let me turn this around. Okay, so I can't do anything here just yet. Go back to the grave. So now I can fight the spider. The spider that freaking killed me last time. Spider, come over here, little spider. Spider, spider. That's not the way on. Damn it. Oh, okay. I expect the spies. Found some rope. Nice. Found some rope. Why the heck do I need rope for? I don't know. Now I'm going to fight this spider. Let's see what I can do. Oh, I forgot to save. Oh, I can quick save here. Yes. Okay. Nothing else is a key on the ground. I'm going for it. Before you can even act, the large spider falls from above. You have no doubt that it's hungry. Without hesitation, the spider attacks you. You pull out your sword and stab the spider as it lunges at you. Over and over again, you stab the monster each time it squeals in pain. Yeah! Yeah, spider! I stabbed that mother... Stab that mother... Yeah! Spider flees in the darkness overhead. You hear it motioning, motioning about possibly to strike again. Notice the key on the ground close by your feet. Before more trouble happens, you quickly grab the key and make it for the floor. Make it for the whatever. You feel you got what you need. There's no reason to go back in that room again. Yeah, hell no. Nah. I ain't going back in there. I just I ain't probably kill the spider. So now I got a key. There was a chest. I think it was upstairs. Alright, I'm gonna ins open the chest. Yes, now I got the key. The harp. What the heck do I need a harp for? Uh, what I, why would I need a harp for? Um... A quick save. So is, it, is the heart for the unicorn? I think the harp's for the unicorn. Let's go find out. Wait, maybe I can go kill that dog. Maybe I can go kill the dog with the spider with the with the sword. Let's go ahead and find out. Let's go see if I can kill that dog too. Freaking dog. Before you can do anything, a large hound leaps in front of you. The, he brought the harp. Oh, he brought the harp. You didn't kill that mother. You didn't kill that mother. The heck. But so you're gonna music him up. Yeah, that sounded horrible. I'm not gonna do that again. Anyway, pull out the harp and begin to pluck at the strings. Ooh, you hear that? Oh my god, so majestic. That dog better leave. To your surprise. Oh wow, the dog actually left. To your surprise, the beast walks away as if it were charmed by the harp. Never gave him much thought how powerful music can be. Okay, um, I'll go to the left. Because, you know, to the left. To the left. You open the door to find a skeleton positioned in the corner of the room. There's also a bed and some chains attached to the wall. You have no doubt this individual was locked up for a long time. A cool quick save. I don't know what's going to happen here. Inspecting the skeleton, you notice a ring on one of the bone fingers. There's a faint glow of light emanating, e e emanating from the ring as if it were magical. You may find such a ring useful. Take the ring and put it on with the perfect fit. Maybe with this ring, I can have full power of the light. I'll be Green Lantern, but no one wants to be Green Lantern. Green Lantern? <laughs> okay. Seeing there is nothing of interest here, you leave the cell. Okay. I'll inspect the one on the right. You enter the cell on the right, you see a wooden table on the side, there's some debris on the floor, and a large hole in the corner of the room. If you're nothing special, you motion toward the hole. You discover it passes away underground. Unfortunately, all you can see is fallen rock blocking the way through. I think there's little you can do. You go back where you came. Nothing I can do here, I guess. So I'm going to have to find a way out. I'm pretty sure it's the... No, go back. Pretty sure there was a way. I'm pretty sure it said go outside. I'm outside now. So I exit the gated area. Now I got to go back to the unicorn. Yeah. Okay, I got the unicorn. Go along the tr trail. You find yourself gazing over a grass field of hills rolling off into the distance. There he is. 
As of a trick upon your eyes, you see a unicorn run across the field. It disappears out of sight before you can do anything. I'm sure what is going on. You think of a way to tame the beast. You suddenly remember the harp you found earlier. I'm going to tame a dog, and now I'm going to tame a unicorn. With the harp in hand, you pluck the strings. Majesticness. Majesticness. He. <laughs> All right. The student calm comes over you as you listen. The unicorn comes into view and stops before you. The unicorn glucks at you, and you begin to hear a faint voice in your head. The unicorn. The un unicorn can talk? Human have ear for words. A great evil has gripped these lands and has rendered me powerless. You must find a way to stop it. I wish I could help you, but without my full power, I can do little. The fate of this land depends on you. Before you could speak, the unicorn turns and runs off again. Oh, what the heck was the point of even talking to the damn thing? Dude didn't do shit for me. You realize that you are alone to complete this quest of yours. This is no longer about saving your farm. You must save the whole land from the spreading darkness. As you turn back, as you you turn back, as you question what you should do next. Okay, so can I go to the town now? Like now that I have my sword and my ring and bring a power, I'll continue down the path. You walk for some time to find an endless field of grass. There's a stone well near the path. I can inspect the well. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I got a rope. I got a rope. I can go down there and get whatever the heck is down there. Good coin. I can go down there and get the coin. Yeah, I got the coin now. I nice. Okay, so what do I do with the coin? Yeah, maybe I can do something with the coin in the gate. Around here. Okay, uh the fount the, the the fountain? Do we drop a coin in the fountain? You feel a slice pull towards the fountain as if we're calling for something. You pull out the coin, you found you toss it into the water of the fountain. Oh yes! The coin disappears of a subtle slush splash. The water then fizzles for a moment, quickly returning to a lifeless state. Yeah, I tame the water fountain. I'm taming everything in this game. Surely this must mean something. So... Oh, I don't have to go to the caves anymore to get freaking to the tower. Nice. Okay, exit the gated area. Now, I think now the ring... With the ring, I can harness the power. Looking onward at the end of the pathway is a fountain of light. There seems to be no beginning or end. Blah, blah, blah. I already know this. Okay, approach the light. Now that I have the ring. The light intrigues you and you walk toward it. Rays of light brush about you as if they were seeking to break away from its home. Oh, yeah! Green lantern power! <laughs> Remember the ring you have found and point it toward the light. Your hand trembles as the light flows into it. Before you can think, the ring begins to burn you as you stumble back. Light sh shines brightly from the ring. You know, it's subtle warmth to it as you observe. You feel that you have accomplished what you, what you must do here. You pick up the orb. With the orb back in your possession, in you possession. Or someone made a mistake in your possession. Okay. Some pillars down there beyond the hill. Okay, can I explore the field? Can I give the unicorn its power? No, okay. Well, I'm going to quick save here. I'm going to actually go ahead and do a full save. Alright, return. So, I don't know where else to go. Like, I didn't, I think I explored everywhere, didn't I? I explored every direction. I can't. Do I follow the trail on the grass? Do I continue on? No, I gotta go back. I, I, don't, I don't remember going any. I. Don't, I did I go talk to the statues at all? No? Yeah, I feel like I've gone anywhere, I, everywhere I've needed to go. Downstairs. I don't... Okay, I went to the... What's the right? There's nothing on the show. This is someone complaining. You look in the pie, find nothing in it. What, uh, nothing else to see. Cause there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing I can do there. Enter the door behind me. I guess I'll go back all the way up. Oh, wait! That, continue forward. What is this? Oh, I didn't even read it. Like, can I read it? You come up the stairs to find a wall ending your path. Above the end of your stairway is a hatch. Open hatch. You open the hatch and pull yourself up. What? Is that? Oh, my God. You have made it to the top of the flower. Flower. Tower. Before you use a stone of power, resting upon an altar of rock. Dark vines have entangled the structures that they are feeding off the energies of the stone. Your body begins to tremble as you stand before the stone. You definitely feel weaker being up here as the stone sapping away your energy. D destroy this thing, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. You stretch forth in your face and point the ring at the stone. You can feel a resistance as if the stone is trying to defend itself. You try to keep hope and focus on the ring. 
The, bur the burst of light shoots off from the ring, penetrating the stone. You feel the very, you feel the very air shake about the ground beneath your feet begins to vibrate. Whoa! What the hell is going on? The ring becomes heavier to hold in place, but you know what it is you're working. You feel confidence and sense of joy sweep over you. The light intensifies, nearly blinding you. The ground beneath you shakes violently as if the tower itself was trying to stop you. What little fear in you becomes powerless as you focus on your task. Everything goes white, blinding you completely. A weird sensation comes over you and you feel as a, as light as a feather. Am I dead? Did I just die? You begin to feel a tingling sensation all over your body as you hone your senses. Feeling suddenly flees you, it flees your body, and you find yourself you find yourself motionless. Everything is cold, and your ability to concentrate begins to leave you. You open your eyes, witnessing what is left of the tower. Did I just die? You begin to feel something. Warmth, light it is coming back. Oh my God! Is the unicorn? You lack the strength to talk, as if the unicorn comes into view. Light em 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 emanates from the horn on its head. All you can do is smile as the creature approaches. Light intensifies. You may have saved the land, but the unicorn has come to save you. Your adventure does not end here. Did, did I just beat the game? Did I just, did I just beat the game? Is that, was, that, was that it? All you gotta do is point a freaking ring at a stone? Was, 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 well, I guess that was disturbed. That was disturbed, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was disturbed. I... I saved the land with the my, my green lantern ring. <laughs> um, well, if you guys did enjoy that playthrough, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you gamers in the next video. Later.